Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'll be reading a multi character listener by me. So let's get into it. Mitro Mitro thinks you're so adorable all the time. And when you're crying, the fact that you feel so small and so vulnerable, it makes him extremely protective of you. And he wants to make you be okay. He wants to comfort you in any way that he can. And that's simply why he goes to you, wraps his arms around you tightly as soon as he sees you cry. And the hand goes to your hair, stroking it as he presses a soft kiss to your cheek. Are you alright, my dear? I... I will be. Hopefully. You say... Tears still streaming down your cheeks. And he feels extremely guilty for not knowing why or how things have gotten to that point. He wants to help you. He really does. So he sits you down on the bed and asks you, What's wrong? Well, I guess many things are. A lot of things. And I don't know how to fix them anymore. You mumble, and he just hugs you tighter, holding you close to him. Are you sure about that? You don't have to fix everything, Ryan. You could just... I... I don't really know. But I'm here for you, and I want to help you. You can let me. At least let me try. And you look at him. Look at how desperate he is. And how much he really wants to help you fix things. He doesn't even know what problem you're in. Doesn't even know if you're right or wrong. But he knows he loves you. And that's what drives him to help. And that is simply why you know he's truthful. That he will always be with you no matter the problem. No matter when you need him. Because he's proved himself time and time again. To love you. And care about you in more ways than one. In more ways than anyone else I've ever tried to care. Rengaku. Now, Rengaku is a little bit different. Rengaku simply just does not do things like this. Things work differently for him. When he sees you crying, he leaves you alone for a couple of minutes thinking that maybe you need some alone time. Maybe you don't want him to intrude in on you. But after he figures that you're not going to stop anytime soon, and you look miserable, he goes over to you and wraps his arms around you gently, pulling you into his arms. Are you alright, Wan? You shake your head, close to tears again, having already cried it down. Well, you can always talk to me. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know if I can help. But if there is one chance that I can help it anyway, I want to be able to do that. He says earnestly. And you can tell he means it. Every word of what he's saying. He wants to help you in any way possible. And after a bit of silence from you, you decide to tell him everything. You're hesitant about it. But you decide that he loves you. And at the very least, he deserves to know what you're dealing with. After all, he's going to be suffering through this with you. Seeing you upset and having to comfort you. And not knowing anything about it. It must make him anxious. And he knew where you in this place. You would want the same. So you tell him. Decided to be honest and transparent. And after you're done talking and he's done listening. He takes your hands. And kisses your palms. Looking at you with pride and love in his eyes. Thank you for telling me dear. I will help you. In any way I can. But right now. You want to rest don't you? And you fidget for a little bit before nodding. And then he smiles. 
kissing your cheek, we'll just rest for now. And tomorrow, you can get started to work on this. Gyu. Now, Gyu is a silent type. So if he sees you crying, he's a little bit anxious because he does not know how to deal with that. It makes him worried. Your emotions are overwhelming him. But he knows it's really not about him this time. It's about you, not him. And that's why, after a little bit of silence and some awkwardness, he sits next to you. He's quiet, but he's present, sitting right near you and trying to provide you some comfort. And it does work somewhat. And then... He holds your hand. Can you tell me what this is about? After some silence, you decide to be honest with him. It's about a family problem with my parents. You say, and he can already tell that it's a big deal, a mess. And he knows that you have to deal with it somehow. But... He doesn't know how he can help you with it. He only knows that he can be there for you and offer you with some suggestions. But right now, it's not what you need to hear. And what you need to know is the fact that he's here with you and ready to love and help you. He wraps his arms around you tightly, kissing your cheek. I know. There can be a handful he murmurs, and you nod, chuckling a little bit. He does not usually get involved in things about your family, but it's funny when he does. Tell me all of it. And you tell him. Oh, you tell him a lot because he's a great listener. Commenting here and there. Sometimes even trying to make you laugh with the comments he says. He's got the type of dry humor. But it's suitable right now. With all of your wet tears. But once it was all over and done, you were in his arms, cuddled close to him, safe and warm and loved. It will be okay, Wyan. You've got to believe in me. It'll be fine. And you believe him. You do. Because you know he would never trick you. And He's your biggest supporter for a reason. It's because he's seen you deal with this with more times than he could count. And he knows that you will come out of it just fine.